Today I'm going to learn how to do a color react animation in Geometry Notes. So let's see. Let's see the camera, the light, go to Geometry Notes. Let's select here the shade editor. Let's hide this panel with N. And let's create a new profile in Geometry Notes. Let's hide this panel because today we're not going to use any keyframe. And let's use a grid. Later, if you want, you can use any object. Let's make it bigger and add more vertices. Let's select the material view to see the change of the colors. Let's see if this works. Doesn't work because we need to add here set material. And now let's select this material. So let's check if this works. Perfect. So now at least we can see the change that we are going to do. Now we need another object to create an interaction. So let's create, for example, a UV sphere. I'm going to press G, Z, and leave it here. I'm going to lock this panel because I don't want to lock here and lose this panel, so lock this panel. And here I want to do the same. So let's come back here, open this, and lock this panel. So now if I click outside, I never lose this panel on this panel. Perfect. Now what I want is to get the distance between this object and this one. So how we get the distance between this point and this point? To get the distance, what we have to do, first of all, we need information of this object inside Geometry Nodes. So we can drag this object here. And really important, select relative. So we will check this position and not the original position. Now, to get this distance, we can use vector math in distance or we can use geometry proximity. This node, as the name says, it gets the proximity the distance between one object and another. One of the objects is the one that we are going to connect, so the UV sphere. And now, if we connect this node in the middle of this process, it's going to take the information between this object and this one. But the real question is, why we want to get the distance? We want to get the distance to send it to the shade editor, to this place and say, hey you, can you change the color based in the distance between these two objects and this guy will say okay but send me the distance i need this information to know when to change and do this interaction okay so to send this distance to here because this is geometry nodes and this is the shade editor and we cannot get a wire here and connect it directly to this node what we have to do is to create an attribute output so this is the group output and the distance is an attribute is an information about these two geometries so we can connect it to the output and now you will see here that appears output attributes if we open this we have distance because it's an attribute and because it's connected to the group output now we need to send this information here that's why we connect it here so let's write any word you want i'm going to write for example color react this word that i'm creating these two words is like a password, like an email, to send it to this world. This is Geometry Notes, and this is the Shade Editor. So we need to send this information by email, okay, by email, and send it here, so he can receive this email and apply the change. So now, to get this email, he needs a computer. So let's bring attribute note. And this is like a computer. It's not a computer, but this can read attributes. And distance is an attribute because it says output attributes. So let's connect color with color. And let's delete this, because this is a wrong email. This node needs to read this email, the mail called color react. So we need to add this email, this name, here. Color react. And now if we press intro, this guy is receiving this email that we created. That this email is the information, the distance between these two objects in real time and is applying this information in the color. So we connected Geometry Notes with the Shade Editor. Now, to see if this works, let's move this object. Let's see if we move this, there is any change in the distance in the color. Hmm, this is working. So as you can see, when this object gets really close, it's being darker. Perfect. So we connect both worlds. Now I'm going to hide this cursor because I don't want to see it. 
Now the question, how we can change these colors? To change these colors, we need to come back here, and between the color here and the color here, we need to add a color one. If you leave it like that, nothing changed because it's the same color, black and white. Now what you can do is to play with this to make more contrast, as you can see here. We can push these lines to define more. Also what you can do is to invert the colors, or also what you can do is to select constant. So we have, with one slider, this really sharp contrast between white and black, and we don't have any transition. I'm going to select easy and leave it like that, in zero and one. Now, if you want to change the colors, obviously you can change the color here. For example, let's select blue, and here let's select red, for example. Okay, now how we can control this? To control this, what we can do, I'm going to hide this panel to have more space, is to add map range. Map range is to control the range of something. Now we are controlling the range of the distance, because it's connected between the distance and the colors. So, how this works? By the way, if you want to learn how this node and this node works, I recommend you to see my tutorial about geometry proximity. There I explain you a lot of tricks to understand how it works and how to create interesting animations. So now let's go here, to minimum to maximum. This means which is the value when the distance, because we are working with the distance, is minimum. So right now the distance is minimum. Okay, it's not minimum minimum, so we have press N and I select zero. Now the distance is zero, is minimum. Okay, so what does it mean this? When the distance is minimum between the two objects, the value is zero. And you're thinking, what does it mean that? This zero is this zero. So red. So when the two objects is really close, the distance is minimum, give me the value zero. And we can see that the value zero is red. And when the distance is maximum, give me the value one. And one is blue. So now we're giving red. However, if we move this object, you can see that it's giving the value one, blue, because it's the one defining. However, we can change this. We can say, look, when you are really far away, so the max distance, don't give me one, give me red. So if I select zero, always will be red, because now I'm saying when the distance is minimum or maximum, always give the same number, so the same color. However, I can say, no, when the distance is maximum, give me this value. So in the middle, this one is 0 0.5. So let's select 0 0.5. And now, as you can see, when the distance is maximum, it's giving this value as a maximum. So it's ignoring all this, because 0 0.5 is this. So these values have relation with these values in the color run. For example, let's move this. And you can see that now we never see the blue color because it's out of the range. It's not inside between these two values. Blue color is one. Okay, I hope you get the idea. Now, what's this from minimum from maximum? To see this, what I'm going to do is to change these colors. So you will see it better. What I'm going to do is to select this, delete this color, and select blue. And select here far. That means that now it's selecting all the colors that are more far away between the same color. So it's like making this cycle. If you select near, then it's making the near transition. That's why we have blue. So I'm going to select far just to see more colors. And here I'm going to select one. So we can see all these colors. So now remember, when the distance is minimum, give me zero, blue. When the distance is maximum, give me one. So it's similar to blue. If you want, I can change the color a bit so you don't get confused. Okay, so what's that? That's the range between the minimum value and the maximum value. So let's say this is the maximum value, one. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, I'm going to change the color. If not, you cannot see my notes. So I'm going to set this color. So this is the maximum value, right? One, and the minimum value 
is not in the center. In reality, is where it's really close to the object. So let's say here. Here, it's 0. So we have this range, right? From 1 to 0. This range is all this range. With this, we can push or expand this range. So now it's from 0 to 1. So this is perfect. Minimum 0, maximum 1. If you want to expand this, then we need to increase this. Look. And we're expanding the original range. It's the same range. I mean, it's the same colors, but we are expanding. Because now we are saying be the double, almost the double, or three times. Okay. Or we can do the opposite. We can decrease it, so we are compressing, or we can push this, and now we are going to push it from this side, from zero. So if I increment this, what I'm doing, as you can see, this color is almost the same like this one, but it's compressing all this range in here. So now the zero, the zero is here. So I hope you didn't get confused. I know it's a bit confusing, but with this, you can control how to expand the range of interaction. And with this, you define the values. So if I select 0 0.5, what I'm saying is all the range, the minimum value, be 0 0.5. And remember, 0 0.5 is in the middle. But I can say, OK, please, can you compress this? So now we have this range. So I hope you get the idea how it works. If you're confused, just use some colors and leave this in 0 and 1 and this in 0 and 1. But basically, with this, you have more control to expand the range and to define the minimum and maximum values. So now when we move this object, you get this effect. If you want more effect here, instead of being closer, then let's expand this. Because we're expanding the range. So we can see the interaction before the distance is closer. Maybe I want to compress this, so I'm going to push it like that. By the way, the resolution of the colors, remember that always is defined for the resolution of the object. So if I decrease the number of vertices, these colors are more pixelated, as you can check. If you add more vertices, more faces, you have more definition in the colors. By the way, if you want to add more objects to make the material react, so the grid, for example, let's create an ecosphere. What you have to do, I'm going to move it, is to create a collection. So let's select both objects, UV sphere, Nico sphere, and press M to create a new collection. Give a name, I'm going to leave this one. And now we don't have to use an object info. So let's delete it and let's drag the collection. Now, really important, select relative. And if you connect it, it's not working because look at here. We have an alert and it says instance doesn't work. So what we have to do is to convert this object, because now they are instance to geometry. And to do this, what we have to do is to add realize instance. This node converts an instance to a geometry. So now this can read these objects. And as you can check, now I can move this one and it's reacting here. And this one too. So we have two objects reacting with the same object. Obviously, more objects you add, you will notice that the computer goes slower. But at least you know how to do it. You know how to use more than one object to animate another object with a color reaction. And remember here you have this to control the range. And here you can change the colors, whatever you want with this and this. And of course, you can change the original object. For example, let's add another UV sphere. And now here we have these two animations that we can control. So I hope you learned something new. 
And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.